1999, we established Dominico quarantine systems to deal with a problem in fumigation emissions. However, shortly afterwards, we soon discovered that imported containers also had residual toxic gases, dangerous to health. One of our earlier customers were the border agencies, Customs and Quarantine. The departments were concerned about the health and safety of their officers entering containers, encountering toxic gases. So we found a solution for them with mechanical ventilation, which allowed them to get into the container examine the goods, remove the goods, and also do it safely. Several studies have been conducted in different parts of the world to evaluate how widespread the issue of residual gases found in shipping containers is. The result is almost always consistent with approximately 15 to 25% of imported containers contain toxic gases, exceeding the safety limit for human exposure. This is a global problem. The Australian Customs Service tested 14,000 shipping containers and found that 17% had unsafe levels of toxic gas. In Europe, a study was done of 20,000 shipping containers and 12% were found to have unsafe gas levels dangerous to human health. In New Zealand, a similar study was performed by the New Zealand Customs Service and 18% of containers were found to have dangerous levels of toxic gas inside. Yeah, I've been involved with shipping containers for just on 20 years or nearabouts. Um, there was this one time that we went into the container after it was opened up, we worked inside it when we came out. Um, I felt nauseous, didn't feel very well, and I knew there was something wrong, and that led me vomiting off the edge of the dock. Um, and over a period of time, other, other work colleagues did that as well, and we ended up having to take one person up to a medical centre for treatment. Risk to workers entering shipping containers are real. Traces of very toxic chemicals such as methyl bromide, benzene, phosphine and formaldehyde are already been detected. These chemicals could potentially cause acute, chronic and in certain cases lethal effects at high concentrations. For instance, there's been studies linking long-term methyl bromide exposure to motor neurons. Nordica used a two-step process. Firstly, an air sample is taken from the container before the doors are opened using a monitor such as this one. When toxic gases are detected, the Nordico system is actually installed on the container to begin ventilating the toxins out. With the help of the second person, the lightweight console is installed on the container in a matter of seconds. Once the gas tight seal is established on the container door, the system is turned on and the high flow fan begins the flushing process by forcing the airborne chemicals through an activated carbon filter. The filter captures any unwanted VOCs and only lets clean air through. The gas monitor is used during the ventilation process to see the levels of gas and when it is deemed safe, the Nordica system is turned off and removed. Uh, since um, we've been using the Nordico ventilation system, I haven't felt sick. Uh, nobody at work's been sick for the, the gases. It's very easy to install um, and it works. Nordico has equipment now in over 30 countries around the world. And we're very proud of some of the achievements we have made in the 16 years we have been in operation. Especially, we receive recognition from the US Environment Protection Agency for our contribution to the reduction of gases in the ozone layer. Our biggest challenge is a lack of awareness of residual gases in containers and the attendant health effects on employees. Nordico has the solutions and we can make sure that your workplace is safer and a much better place to be.